Welcome everyone, I'm back again to another Fox Tech video. In this one, we talk about a topic about photos, more specifically how you can upload photos to iCloud when you find out that the storage is full on your device. So moving your photos to iCloud storage is great method because it helps you free up space on your device while ensuring that your photos are still backed up and securely stored. So at first, you need to make sure that you have enough iCloud storage. Open the settings app on your iPhone, tap on your name at the top to go into the Apple ID section and then select iCloud. Here you can see your available storage and if you're running low, you might need to upgrade your iCloud storage because for free you only get 5 gigabytes, which is not going to be enough most likely for your photos. It's not enough for me, but yeah, of course, it's up to you to evaluate. If you have enough storage, we need to make sure that we enable iCloud Photos synchronization. Go back to the Settings app. I mean, you can still be in the same section, but to repeat that, you need to tap on your name, iCloud again, and there tap on Photos and toggle on iCloud Photos. This will turn on the syncing process, meaning that your photos are going to start to slowly get uploaded to your iCloud automatically making them available on your Apple devices. If you want your photos to be uploaded, obviously you need to make sure that you have a stable internet connection, but usually this process happens in the background. I mean, you might leave the photos app open in case you want to make sure that it gets like done quickly, but you know, you should not care. Once you have it enabled, it's going to get done eventually. And it is pretty much automatic from this point on. Obviously you need a good upload speed you need to have like a stable internet to make sure that it does indeed work. So this is how it works. Of course, at all times you can log into iCloud.com and open up the, uh, I mean, sign in there with your Apple ID, go to the photos section and check out your photos. There you can manage only the iCloud photos in this way. And this is essentially what I wanted to tell you in this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe below and I will catch you in the future. Peace out until then.